Premier Comrade Mielakov. Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. And their primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now deceased. So, what has been problem? The problem, Conrad, is that Furons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. Then the American people are not noticing? <laughs> ah, right. Pull the other one. Even worse. This new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, must be. Destroyed! As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a new cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. There's only one way to deal with such men. Revolution! Uh-oh. That can't be good. Whoa. Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Fioran. I expect you to die. Mine's big. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it?
Well, beggars can't be choosers. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. What's a data core? You never studied, did you? A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other Furon technology. The outer casing is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding them. I didn't bring any with me. Figured, uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. Oh, I knew it! I knew your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble! Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core.
I don't understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. This Jopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much revelate as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orenchov. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Pleh! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions. But guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> Still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slicing dice? You do not. The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop. I've done a little... Apparently, there's one informant in Bay City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. And I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. All right, enough chit-chat. I'm off to find her little hippie friend, the Freak. Get eliminated. Call them off. Yes, sir. All units stand down. What's wrong with me? I can't get no girl with action. Maybe I'll ask the freak for some tips when I get back to the park. He has to fight the chicks off. Of course, he's also their dealer. <laughs> oh. 
I wonder where the creek went. Probably up on the hill doing his mountaintop hermit routine. Weirdo. Hey there, uh, Moon Doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the Freak. You found him, but I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz? From what I hear, it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater. Which is pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is Cat's got the chicks eating out of his hookah. Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bong Water? Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. He doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your it. Find some Revelade and you'll probably find Coyote Bong Water. What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all-natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bongwater says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Great. Like the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that. You don't own the side. Ah! Who is nasty? Um, ah! What's up? Bad trip, man. Bad trip. Strike ah! on. I got no idea. Oh my god. Um. Have you seen What's that? that? Oh, shit. Hey, look. Oh. Space Invader! Uh, what? If this bong water guy thinks he can buy my loyalty by handing out free samples of his homebrewed mind-altering substance on Ashbury Street, then he's right! It's all about the buzz, man! If this bong water guy thinks he can buy my loyalty by handing out free samples of his homebrewed mind-altering substance on Ashbury Street, then he's right! It's all about the buzz, man! The very large dick. And next week, we'll start one-on-one -on -one Shakti tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private, hands-on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run ten hours. So eat a good breakfast. <gasps> Uh, uh, uh. That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Ta 
Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Ah! Goddamn flashbacks. Guess again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Then join us! We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm. Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm gonna have to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Kill me? Run along, comrade. My men can handle this. Pacifist. What a crock. Perimeter breach! Get bong water out of here! Hurry! Prepare to dying! Bong water is being in danger! Get him out of here! Now! How's it hanging, freak? Uh, listen, I need a little more info. All right, but hurry it up, will ya? You're making me nervous. Here's the thing. I found Bong Water, but he got away before I could ice him. Whoa. I don't know, man. You didn't tell me you were going to get violent. You didn't ask. Smart hippie. Okay, okay. Maybe I've heard some things. He's gone underground and come up with a new plan to distribute his revelade. Great. What's that wacko up to now? Get this. Somehow he got his hands on a whole bunch of blimps. Blimps? What's he gonna do? Start a tire company? It's not what's on the outside, man! It's what's on the inside! Gas! He's gonna gas the whole city with Revelade! Wow, that's so wild it might just work. Well, I'll tell you this. Bongwater's been drinking his own Revelade if he thinks his scheme's gonna work. Whatever. Hey, you coming to Jade's party? What? No, I'm gonna blow up Bongwater's blimps full of Reveille. Didn't you hear me? Easy, man. Mellow out. What am I doing talking to this creep? Fox, we got a situation here. Bongwater must be drinking his own product. The freak says he's planning to fumigate Bay City with giant blimps full of Revelade gas. Great galaxies! That's so moronic, it just might work. So let's get flying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet minion. 
My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. Ah, oh, crap. The good news is ancient Furon landing beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then, I kick a little monkey ass. Huron God, zap my idol with bolts of electricity. Attend the holy syllables of the great Arkvudal. My reigning shroud is rekindled. Landing zone activated. No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. It appears the saucer took a hit. Or 12. On the way here. No, no, no. Don't say it. I'm afraid we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Ah, man. Luckily, I've detected more data calls from the mothership nearby. Containing repair parts you can use to get the saucer up in flying. Once you're in the air, you can blow up blimps to your heart's content. Gotcha. I'll snatch up those repair pods and swing back to the saucer. Oh, yeah. It's pace time. Right on! Time to boogie! Just in time, Crypto! 
bomb water has launched his blimps at the city. You must stop them from polluting the air with Revelade. Just tell me where Bong Water is so I can whack him and get back to making hot monkey love. When you're packing a new Ferrari, you don't want it gathering dust in the garage, you know what I'm saying? Not really. And Bong Water? What can I say, man? Nobody's seen the dude. Well, nobody's at Prudence, I guess. Who's Prudence? Uh, his insurance broker? Ah, dear Prudence. No, she's Bongwater's new protege. Kind of a revolutionista in training. <laughs> Anybody knows where Bongwater's at? It'd be Prudence. It sounds like a real firecracker. Maybe I should introduce myself. All right. I'm off to introduce myself to Prudence, see if I can convince her to give up bong water. Hey, 
what little green hunk. Uh, What's the bug? Murphy? Prudence Queen was such a respectable young Murphy poet until she joined those hippies in the park. By now, they've probably got her hooked on pots. Guess I better take it easy on those hippies at the park. Last thing I need is Prudence Kane's rich publisher daddy calling up the chief and chewing my ass out. Brothers and sisters! Children of the revolution! This is the dawning of the Age of Aquariums! My name is Prudence Kane. Like me. Many of you joined the American Liberation Front as a way of getting back at your rich suburban parents for subjecting you to an adolescence of obscene luxury. Okay, Simeons, here's the deal. You give me coyote bong water, or I toast me up some hippie s'mores, capiche? Whoa! We got a narc over here! Hey, narc! Why don't you just go back to Narc Central and narc around with the other narcs, you narc? Ouch. That stings. Just the sort of response I'd expect from a narc. All right, that's it. Hey, losers, put this in your bong and smoke it. You carry a big gun, narc? As a matter of fact, I do. Ego transference, feelings of sexual inadequacy. Sexually? Are you high? I'm a freaking supernova. Papa's got a brand new bag. See that? Now he's trying to sexually intimidate me. Well, you can take your patriarchal power structure and shove it up your ass, man. What do we want? Liberation from the oppressive patriarchal power structure. When do we want it? Now! Cough up coyote bong water, or I start baking brain brownies. Threats won't get you any closer to the revelade, pig, or to coyote bong water. You know what? You're right. I'm sorry. I must have mistaken me for someone else. Please go on. Well, that's more like it. I accept your apology. Come by my tent later and I'll do you. Now then, where was I? Look, Princess, we ain't here for the opening act. Where's Coyote Bongwater? Sadly, our leader, Coyote Bongwater, cannot be with us today because he is setting in motion a grand design to transform this entire city into a countercultural utopia. Bay City is about to become one big happy commune. Suck on that, Daddy. You gotta be kidding me. That patchouli reeking nutbag, he makes the rest of you hippies look lucid. Okay, I'll give you the patchouli, but our beloved leader is not a nutbag. He is a cosmic visionary, a love child of the revolution, wise in the ways of political, spiritual, and sexual healing. He's a stinking monkey with delusions of grandeur. Or a crook. Or both. He is not. He's a great man. Stinky monkey. Great man. Stinky minky. Great man. Ah! Easy, princess. Pop another Valium. All right, so what's Bongwater up to this time? So how can Coyote Bongwater possibly free the minds of a whole city the same way he freed our minds with Revelade? How did I know that was coming? Revelade? Oh, I heard that stuff will give you a limp linguini. 
Lint Linguini? Wilts your vine, tames your tiger, chops down your magic beanstalk. What, a park full of potheads and you're telling me nobody here's ever had erectile dysfunction? Last time I open up to you people. Revelade sounds yummy to the tummy, so uh, where do I get me some? That's the best part! Our brothers and sisters are about to deliver the final batch of Revelade to our leader, Coyote Bongwater! He's gonna pour it into the bay! Soon the masses are gonna be begging us to lead them in revolution! Those Revelade trucks could be a serious pain in my ass, and I haven't blown anything up for at least ten minutes. Rich like a figurative transforming robot, there's more to this than meets the eye. This Revelade isn't a coincidence, it's an attack! Take out those trucks immediately! Always has an underground lair. On a totally unrelated subject, I wonder where Coyote Bongwater's living these days.
is crypto! Take out that psychedelic sociopath and save the hippies of Bay City for our experiment! Right on. Now's my chance to nail that sleazy weasel once and for all. Ground control. Talk me down some I can't feel my left! Let's go! Whoa. This is too much. is coming, man! Agent Orenshoff, come in! Uh, I failed. You'll have to... ...start the revolution without me. Yet. Yet? But, but... This city is useless to us now. I mean, have you seen these people? They make the students in Prague look like a meeting of the Politburo. We shall destroy this degenerate city and return to the Soviet Union with the spacecraft fragments we have managed to retrieve. But what about freeing America from the tyranny of capitalist consumerism? Do not despair, comrade. The party will long remember your efforts to cripple your decadent nation. You shall not have died in vain. Or in job out. But no. No! I wanted to save America, not destroy it! Oh, man! What have I done? Uh, excuse me. Sometimes it's kinder just to put them down.
that sound. I loved you and the king and I... Wow, so our Furon God is buried in effigy all over Earth, huh? <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Ah, oh, yes, Arkvoodle of the Sacred Crunch, prodigious in size, legend in potency and stamina. You put me in mind of him, Crypto, with your new clone's pure Furon DNA and restored genitalia. Yes, you are the spitting image of... Ah, oh, good gonads! The prophecy! What? What prophecy? It foretells the coming of a savior who will reassert the sexual dominance of the Furon race. Tis written in the holy book of Pudenda. And lo, a son of Arkvoodle shall rise newly born to prepare ye for that day when Arkvoodle shall come again. Wait a minute. It sounds incredible, I know, but Crypto... What if it's true? What if you're... the one? Hmm, I did take a red pill this morning. Okay, just for the sake of argument, let's say you're right. How the hell am I supposed to bring about the second coming of Arkvoodle? The scriptures say Arkvoodle will return when enough seekers believe in him again. You mean, like, Tinkerbell? Something like that. But Crypto, this is ideal! Humanity is desperate to reconnect the physical and spiritual! All that's needed is for you to spread the good pickup line of Arkvoodle! They're bound to follow you! You want me to start a cult? Basically. Hmm, religion is the opiate of the masses. I like it, but how do I do it? Well, humans tend to sublimate their individuality into tribal units bound by social and political commonality. Such groups are full of docile sheep, ripe for conversion to the way of the sacred crotch. Hail, Arkvoodle! Time to get religious, hallelujah! Before you do, it would be wise to go and seek the blessing of Arkvoodle himself. What? You mean one of those statues with a pigeon crap on it? Precisely. Seek the blessing of Arkvoodle, and your cult will prosper. If you say so, but I'm gonna feel like a putz. Space Invader! Shh! Goodness! Oh, who's there? Um, don't screw with Wolves. No. The glory of our hoodle grows from the highest state of chaotic fecundity. When the ring turns orange and the population's nerves are frayed, then shall the ground be fit to sow, and the masses shall follow. Thus spake Ark Voodle. Bound, chicka, bound, down.
to the masses! Got those KGB agents now, Crypto! Finally! My gun was getting lonely. Man, I hate those guys. And I didn't think it was possible for anyone to wear worse suits than Majestic. Actually, Pox, I was kinda planning to go see this new Russ Meyer movie. Violent Vixens Vroom Vroom. Looks like a blockbuster. This is no time for fume going! Our grip on this planet is at serious risk! Have you seen a Meyer flick, Pox? It's a religious experience! So what you got on those sneaky monkeys? Bongwater's last transmission betrayed the location of the KGB base of operations. They're working from an abandoned prison island in the middle of the bay. Prison Island? The KGB are holed up in Australia? Uh, no. Humans have many prison islands, apparently. It's one area in which they are highly evolved. The locals refer to this one simply as... The Rock. Okay, then. Time to put the KGB between the rock and my hard place. Gotcha. I'll blast that island back into the ocean with the rest of the slime. Eat for it. That Agent Orinchov told Bongwater they were going to destroy the entire city somehow. You'd best scout the island first and find out what they have planned. All right. I'm going in to get a piece of the rock. Can I help you? My scans of Bay City indicate the warp as the best area from which to launch your invasion. My patience is at an end, Ghost Pudding. I'm shaking in my booties. You guys make Americans look clever. Silence! The workers' revolution is inevitable. Right. You don't really know much about capitalism, do you, Ida? I know corrupt corporations fatten themselves off the toil of the American worker even as they pull the strings of the American government. Exactly! You can't beat that kind of muscle! Not even with nuclear time bombs hidden all over Base City?
I've had wet dreams that weren't this good. Comrade, destroy these documents before he finds out where the bombs are hidden. For Sovetsky Soyuz! Damn it! We need Bay City! Hey, Ruski, give me those docks! Kill the Soviet agent and get that dossier, Grisco. We need to know where those nukes are. Pick up the human file so that we may learn the location of the nuclear bomb. Divine fabrications that the great god of the sacred crotch was not made and cannot be unmade. Our poodle is, always was, and always will be. And for once they got it right. Fire at my idol when you want to send a great array. I'll show you. Are you completely Just one nuke left. Don't slack off now.
Well done, Crypto. However, I've reviewed the dossier and discovered something disturbing. America is not the only target in the KGB sites. Agent Orenshaw has been running his operation from Albion in England. I want to know how the KGB managed to derail our mission here in America. So it's off to Albion! Tally-ho what? <laughs> What's up, Parks? I have a very important mission for you. Okay, what's the plan? Well, with the mothership gone and our mission in jeopardy, it's high time we contacted the Furon homeworld and requested some backup. Finally! I'm sick of having to fight off these monkeys with an understocked armory. Yes, I can imagine. But with a new mothership at our disposal, the balance of power will swiftly be restored. When you get the home world on the line, you mind if I make a quick call to my stockbroker? Just want to check up on the old portfolio. Uh, got my eye on a jacuzzi for the house when I get back. We're not making a social call for our foodle's sake! We're in dire straits! In case you hadn't noticed, I'm dead. Pretty noisy for a dead guy. So we're calling home, huh? Yikes, that's some serious long-distance charges there. We don't have that kind of scratch. What are we gonna do? Call collect? I'm on top of it, Crypto. We'll be using an unregistered transmitter, assembled from human technology gathered from all around Bay City. Sounds like a major pain in the tuchus. So, who's the unlucky bastard you conned into... Oh, right. Okay, but what human junk could we possibly use to make an interstellar transmitter array? Oh, it shouldn't take much. A dish, a few electrical components, and one of their TV aerials. Those should do the trick. When you're finished, just make sure you install it somewhere high up off the ground. Bonanza's on tonight, and we don't want any interference during the transmission. Is it the fight? And that's why Whoa. I won't drop ass. Guess I can make this thingy into a communicator array. Now, what do I use for a quantum spin resonator? Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, this doohickey ought to work, as long as it doesn't fall off. Now, for the, uh... Ah, what the hell is this? They call this a particle burst accelerator? The sensor cell connects to the focal plane. The focal plane connects to the plasma beam. I know you're waiting for me to sing the damn song. But I ain't doing it. I got standards. They may not be high, but I got them. Also, we couldn't get the rights. Ah, 
Ah, screw this crap. Let's say we just cut to the end and call it finished. Time to phone home. Time to phone home. Transmitter into position. You're becoming almost confident. I'll begin transmission immediately. Keep the area clear of any potential interference. Yes, sir, Poxy, sir. Look, I got my end covered. Just get me some backup ASAP. I don't want to rot on this mud ball forever. You needn't soil yourself, my cantankerous newbie. I have no intention of ending my illustrious career as a fleet commander of the Fuhrer Empire on this execrable doondog of a planet. We'll be out of here in nanoseconds. Ah, you see? Someone on the Furon homeworld has already picked up our transmission. Come in, please. I say again, this is space traffic control. Your signal has been received. Come in, please. Yes, hello. This is Orthopox 13 of the Furon Empire transmitting from Sol 3. Say again? Orthopox 13. Of the Furon Empire. Imperial Fleet Commander Orthopox 13. Never heard of you. I'm Orthopox 13, man! The Orthopox 13! Conqueror of Zarkon 5, hero of the Battle of Tharsis Mons, winner of the Xanthrax 47 Mental Cruelty Award, six years running. I'm the second most senior fleet commander in the entire Furon Navy. I was enslaving hyperdimensional insectoids in the dung hills of Fedoblat when you were still in short pants. And you never heard of me. No. What's your license number? My what? Your license number. All pilots cleared to fly outside the Furon systems are issued an official flight license by Space Traffic Control. It, I think, expired. Well, I've been out of this system. I'm away in deep space on a mission of vital importance to the Furon Empire. Right. Where did you say you were transmitting from? Soul 3. Earth. Galactic Arm Delta Sector 13. Did I mention my mission is essential to the very survival of the Furon race? I'm sure it's important to you, sir. I can do without the sarcasm, mister. Oh, perhaps I should just speak to you soon. Services do. They might be able to send you out a recon pod. 
a recon pond. I need a mothership! The future of the Furon Empire depends on it! Those documents you recovered in Bay City were most informative. It seems the Soviet spy master, Agent Orinchov, is at large somewhere in this very city. Well, he ain't here for the weather, that's for damn sure. So, those documents say where I might find our little buddy Orinchov? According to the documents, he's established a secret base somewhere underground. Yeah, I bet he's big into underground movements. <laughs> oh, you're good. 
That was very good. Have you ever thought about doing stand-up? Pay attention! Secret base underground. Well, that shouldn't be too tough. Just scan the city while we were flying in. Yes, but it's useless. This city is riddled with tunnels, pipes, and excavations galore. It's like a damp, moldy sponge built atop a noxious Swiss cheese. Vivid. So what do we do? I suppose you'll have to swallow your pride and ask one of the natives. Aw, oh, not again. I hate reading human minds. They're so simplistic, like reading a pop-up book. Okay, locate the tunnels, infiltrate them, and find Agent Orinchov. Then squeeze hard. Indeed. Happy spelunking! Ministry gets that East Hyde Park tunnel filled in, the better. Rogues, ruffians, scallywags, the place is a magnet for undesirables of every kind. gets that East Hyde Park tunnel filled in the better. So the old Hyde Park Tunnel Club basement really was an old tunnel. That's imagination for you. Uh -huh. and the biddies at the bridge club think if they saw me sneaking off to those tunnel happenings. Oh, it's all happening. What's on here? This looks like the entrance to their subterranean lair, all right. Get in there and start spelunking. Show yourself. Hands in the air. Agent Orange Child. 
Look, Ivan, I'm kinda in a hurry, and between you and me, I'd just as soon save the ammo. So what do you say we skip the Kalinka dance, and you tell me what I wanna know? expecting. But if you think turning yourself into some kind of mutant freak is gonna stop me beating the answers out of you, you got another thing coming. Ring, <laughs> ring, 
Hmm, Chicken Kiev. What the hell was in those cans? Revelade can't do that. Well done, Mr. President. Well done indeed. Do I know you, teabag? No, sir, but I know you. Forgive me, it seemed best simply to stand clear and give you room to do what you do so well. These Soviets are rather slippery fish. Yes. Very slippery indeed, but they do crack. If you'll follow me, Mr. President, I can promise you answers in abundance, shall we? I wonder if we might have a little chat now, Mr. President. Yeah, sure. What the... Hey, wait a second, Mr. President. I ain't in my presidential disguise. How do you know who I am? They don't call it British intelligence for nothing, old boy. Okay, you got my attention. Who the hell are you? Reginald Ponsonby Smythe, at your service. And Her Majesty's. Although, in her case, the service is secret. 
I'm with M16, the Foreign Intelligence Agency. What's with the suit? Somebody die. In this line of work, somebody always does. Besides, just because I'm a civil servant doesn't mean I have to dress like one, eh? Aren't you a little overdressed? As Oscar Wilde once said, one should either be a work of art or wear a work of art. And this suit is exquisite, don't you think? If you say so, I'm uh, more the wash and wear mylar type. Okay, so I I'm starting to get a little ticked off here. Th these bastards blow up my mothership, kill my boss, screw up my pension plan, and just when I track one of them down, he turns into some kind of super-powered freakazoid mozzarella monster. I sympathize. To be frank, sir, we appear to be fighting a common enemy. Might it not be the better part of Valor to join forces and pool our information? Hmm. Yeah, ah, I, I seem to be late for a previous engagement. It's been a pleasure, Mr. Cryptosporidium. Do feel free to drop by at your leisure. I think you'll find we have some mutual interests. But... Excellent, excellent. I'll expect you for lunch, then. Splendid. Must dash. What is that? Yes. Good. Oh, What's shaking, Ponzi? This ain't just a social call, is it? I'm afraid not. I'm relieved to see you, sir. The Soviets appear to be up to some mischief. What kind of mischief are we talking about? Because uh, if she says she's 18, you can't just call her a liar. No, no. The Soviet ambassador is throwing a party for the opening of an exhibit of Russian modern art. Frankly, it's making me a bit nervous. A number of Albion's VIPs are in attendance. You know, I'm starting to worry about you, Ponzi. You're getting a twitch. What exactly is it you're scared's gonna happen? I don't know. That's what's worrying me. Mainly, I'm worried about all those VIPs. MPs, captains of industry, all gathered in one place. It's a disaster waiting to happen. Thank God I managed to dissuade Her Majesty from attending. That could have been a real cluster of, um... Ouch. My virgin ears. So, what? You want me to get over there, rough the ambassador up a little? Dear Lord, no. I just need you to mingle with the crowd and check it out. Incognito, as it were. Okay, I'll get a disguise. Wouldn't want my pretty mug to ruin anybody's appetite. So, modern art, huh? Jackson Pollock pees on a canvas and sells it for 50 grand. I don't get it. Ha! <laughs> oh, you're serious? Well, I suppose it takes something of an educated eye to make sense of it. Educated eye? What a crock! I don't need a master's in art history to know what I like. No, no, of course not. But as modern art has become more abstracted, it helps to understand the conceptual framework the artist had in mind. You realize the player's in the kitchen making nachos at this point, right? Well, you did that whole Blue Rider thing in the first game. I, I just thought perhaps... I know, I know. Lead Balloon City. What are you gonna do? Okie dokie, Smokey. I'll go grab a disguise and mingle with the in crowd. Excellent. I'll stay in radio contact in case you need me. I see. Oh. Now then, 
time. Oh, I'm going to kill some Lord of the Good kids. Oh, look at the size of that thing. It's big enough to hide a nuclear warhead in. We'll have to act quickly. But first, we must evacuate the VIPs. About now, is it? Fine. Oh. A wish is my command. I must have a brandy at once. Oh no. I say, that was most terrifying. Most terrifying. Oh, yes. Jolly good one. I may have had a little accident. Ow! Why? You're so fast. Not more blackouts. Why? Never. Oh! It what? shall be done. Are you an inebriated, sir? Good heavens, my head! the humans all you want, spaceman, but you're only treating the symptoms. You want to get the disease, you have to shoot the spores. Let's throw ya! Cupcake. Always nice to meet a chick who can handle her guns. You got a name? The name is Natalia. I'm here to help you, spaceman. Or do you prefer Mr. President? Mr. What the? Does everybody on this dismal freaking island know who I am? Da, pretty much. At least everyone in my line of work. Oh, so you work for Ponsonby. Yet. Although after this little incident, I may have to ask him for a job. I work for the Komatet Gosu Darstvenoi Bezupeznosti. Why, you make pasta? I'm a secret agent with the KGB. So you're a secret agent, huh? Cause I got a package that needs delivering. Your eyes only, big. I have three knives hidden on my body, and I'm blindingly lethal with all of them. Now concentrate. Ooh, I think I'm in love. The KGB? Are you yanking me? Oh, 
for crying out loud. You're not gonna try to assassinate me, are you? Cause I'm a little winded. I could use a second. Don't be ridiculous. The fact is, I'm not very popular in Moscow at the moment. I'm as patriotic as the next coldly beautiful Russian female, but... something's changed in the Kremlin. It's hard to put a finger on. All I know is, I can't just stand by and follow orders anymore. I guess you could say I've... gone rogue. Hmm... What the hell do you think was in those statues? Hard to say. It's listed in official documents as Goshniev Kro. Sounds tasty. Mmm. It loosely translates as either an incredibly lethal biological weapon, or a quasi-legal performance enhancer for the Soviet Olympic team. Depending on the context. Why the hell would you turn your back on your own species to hook up with an alien invader from outer space? First, we are not hooking up. And second, why would I trust a Furon over a KGB apparatchik? Because everything's gone bizumnye. The bullet borrow spitting out orders that don't make any sense. My colleagues transforming into irradiated monsters. All hell is breaking loose. Something's happening. Something very, very wrong. And I think I'm the only person on Earth who knows it. But not anymore. Eh, Tovarish? So, what is it? Some kind of mutagen? Cause I don't know what mutants are supposed to look like, but... Actually, no. It's a spore. It infects a host through inhalation or skin contact. But, after a brief incubation period, it seems to set about genetically rebuilding the victim into something... not human. You think somebody engineered it for the purpose? You have a better explanation? I'm just trying to put all the pieces together. At first, I thought it was being made here, but now I'm not so sure. Bojomoy! The schedule's been moved up. They're about to shower these abominable spores all over the city. You take the Hyde Park infestation. I'll handle the ones in Soho. And Spaceman, good hunting, huh? She's right. You must hurry to Hyde Park and kill all infected humans at once. We must allow this parasite to spread. My men have marked locations for four similar statues in Hyde Park. These should be the of course. Look sharp. Those small thingies.
But you'd best make a quicker exit. I expect the constabulary will be arriving shortly to investigate. You did well, spaceman. I'll be in touch. Meanwhile. I hear the Revelade supplies were blown to smithereens. Any ideas on the culprit? Da, is possible small mod man called Terry Squire is finding out about the plot. Maybe he's telling someone. Who is knowing? Be finding him and then be making sure no one else does. Ever. You got it, Ivan. Er, Boris. It's one of those, right? You are not being funny. Why you must be saying hurtful things? Go and finding Terry Squire near Canal. Then returning and apologize. Don't mess with me. Fine. What is that? Same dream over and over. I am holding giant chili dog like Lance as I am jumping through enormous flying onion rings in space, one after another. What does it all mean? Terry's been so tense lately, and he only hangs around north of the canal when he's super worried. He wouldn't be worrying about those KGB agents who keep trying to kill him, would he? Hiya, hot stuff. Sorry to keep you waiting. 
So what's the buzz, baby? Tell me what's a happening. I'm so glad you asked, baby. I have to meet my contact, Agent Sergei. He says he's got vital information for me. Unfortunately, he fears they may be onto him, so he and I can't be seen together. And I should care because... I'm not exactly KGB Employee of the Month, Crypto. They may well have a hit squad out looking for me. Before I make contact with Sergei, anyone on my tail must be shaken or eliminated. Oh, I'll stick to your tail, all right. I figured. Although you do stand out in a crowd, better get the disguise. About this hit squad, in my experience, KGB men aren't exactly subtle. But this ain't Russia. Do they really think Ponzenby let them start a war in the streets? You might be surprised. Reginald doesn't shy away from interagency scuffles. He's had a price on my head for years. Reginald? Wait a minute. Are you telling me both sides are gonna be trying to kill us? Da, pretty much. Ah, oh, man. Soho's like on the other side of the river and stuff. It's a hell of a long way from here. How about we take a cab? I'll pay. Yet. Not enough maneuverability in case of trouble. Come on, Crypto. It'll be fun. Besides, how often does a girl invite you out on a date to destroy some humans? Date, huh? Don't get greedy. This inside man of yours, what's he found that's worth risking his life to get to you? Sergei feels as I do. That someone or something has perverted the KGB and even the Soviet government. And people who ask why have had a troubling tendency to disappear. Hmm, Soviet dissidents disappearing. You're right, that is weird. Look, can you really trust this guy, Sergei? I mean, how do we know he's not playing both sides? I trust him implicitly. Sergei and I, we have a history. Uh-oh. Look, not that I would not love to ride your tail to Soho, but I just don't get why you need me to play bodyguard. Have you any idea how many KGB agents there are in Albion right now all because of you. Given all the heat you've brought down on my investigation, it's the least you can do. So let's say I help you out. What's in it for me? Aside from your bewitching company, of course. A piece of your mothership. Sergei has agreed to procure it for you in exchange for your help in this matter. How does that sound? Like a gas. Although I would have done it for your company. Let's go. Stay with me, spaceman. You're not here for sightseeing. Will you show good? Heaven's an alien. You got my attention. You had your chat. What right. is it? This is. Keep the tracks for you. What's up? KGB agents, dead ahead. Forget these moodlons. Let's keep moving! Wait! We've been spotted! Get ready, Crypto! Stop being such a sissy! Oh, my God. 
taking a bit of a beat in it. You're such a gentleman, Crypto. Walking me to my car? Your car? Oh, wait a minute. Well, what about your pal, Sergei? You said he was meeting us here. Oh, no. Sergei's in Canal Side. I just needed to be certain we'd shaken off any KGB tales. But the coast looks clear. This would be an excellent time to call your saucer. My saucer? You didn't say anything about my saucer. What do you need that for? Because you won't be able to keep up with me on foot once I start driving, silly. Besides, the KGB will surely bring out their heavy artillery soon, so you may want to even the odds with a little air support. You understand, don't you? Yeah, I get it. You just want me for my saucer. And your bewitching company. What about what I was after? It's been arranged. A piece of your spaceship has been hidden nearby. Here are the coordinates. Okay, okay. Just give me a second to get it here. Thank you, Tovarish. I'll wait for you to take off. We'll set off as soon as you're airborne. going on? Why don't you go back where you came from? <laughs> the trees have invaded!
So that's her contact. Smarmy looking bastard. Damn it, Crypto Focus. She's just a chick, a human chick. You barely know her. A hideous, repulsive human chick who smells really good. No, no, focus, damn it. I found what I was after. Just thought I'd say goodbye. I might not see you for a while. Good hunting, spaceman. And try not to get yourself killed. Good hunting, spaceman. And try not... Mmm, yowza. Look out, I've no sort of name. Morning, Ponsonby. You rang? Hmm? 
This better be good. I was this close to second base with Princess Margaret. I appreciate your coming on such short notice, sir. This is of the greatest importance. Oh. Well, look, I'm sure you got doctors over here who can take care of it, right? Probably won't even keep her overnight. Who's the chica? You don't mind my asking. <clears throat> no, it's, it's, it's nothing so personal. I don't want to be overheard. We'd best whisper. What was... So, so sleepy. You, I'll... Uh, uh. <laughs> Lower life forms, when will they ever learn? Ah, uh, my head feels like Tiny Tim just whacked me with a ukulele. What happened? Oh, good, you're back with us again. I trust you're comfortably tipsy. How do you feel? What the hell is going on around here? Who the hell are you people? Right, let's try four cc's of Demerol. Switch circuits to level three and prepare the encephalogram. Now, I want you to tell me all the good things you remember about your mother. Just wait till I smash out of here. Uh, I'm gonna pulverize all five, no, three of you. Subject is a possible concussion. These furons may be more fragile than we thought. Examining your weapon's power sources, Cryptosporidium. We're all quite curious as to how the stored MU phase pulse is channeled in the first place. Hey, don't look at me. A box handles all the technical crap. I just blow stuff up. Subject displays annoying false modesty. Let's try another four CCs, shall we? Beethoven, anything but Beethoven. <laughs> Subject has reached desired level of confusion. Thank you, gentlemen. I think that will be sufficient. We'll reconvene at 0500 hours. Freaking head. This gas is noxious. Smells like Pox's underwear. Don't ask me how I know that. Hey, hey, what the? Ah, damn dirty apes! Where the hell am I? You're in the abscess mental reconditioning facility under the streets of Albion. Looks like I got here just in time. Now come on, spaceman. Move your ass! I don't get it. Why are you helping me? Because I know now. You're the only one I can trust. Anyway, who else is going to rescue you? Hey! 
Man, I have never been so glad to see you. Actually, I've never been glad to see you, but I am now. Serves you right for trusting a human. What in the musky name of our food will happen down there? Well, the the dirty fighting bastard blindsided me, Pox. Guy's got more gadgets than Jimmy Bond at a hooker convention. Oh, really? Then why weren't you blasting him with your disintegrator? Okay, look. Something's wrong with the guns. They're, they're all screwed up. And on top of that, I can't transmog either. Ponsonby's probably been futzing with them. I should be able to get them repaired for you. I expected I'd find you here. You're quite sporting, Crypto, and I do admire your spirit. But at some point, one simply has to face the fact that the other man's won. Now, of course, you couldn't know who you were up against, M16. Or perhaps I should say, Majestic Command, 16th Sector. By the way, I have you surrounded. Take off now, and my surface-to-air launchers will destroy you and your precious saucer. The only way you'll leave here alive is in my custody. Come now, there's no need for any unpleasantness. It's undignified. It's beneath us. You've lost fair and square. Now be a man and show a little sportsmanship. There's a good fellow.
You bastard. You finally did it. M16 was all there was left. The last of the majestic agencies. All the others. The French. The Mongolian station. The Argentinians. Every one of them. Destroyed by... <laughs> aliens. That last round must have scrambled your synapses. I only took down the American Majestic. Silhouette's Majestic. You? <laughs> you cosmic egomaniac. You think this is all about you? <laughs> oh, the irony. Beaten by a solipsistic simpleton from space. <laughs> you actually believe you're the only... <laughs> the only... What? Leave it alone, Crypto. The man was in the throes of a violent demise and clearly not in his right mind. Now, you've had your fun. Can we please just go? Yes, yes, what? Is what? It oh. Out with it! What's up? No, no, no. Fine. What better things to do? Remind me again why we couldn't meet someplace classier. Like, I don't know, a, a meat packing plant. Hey, Cupcake, my face is leaving in 15 minutes. You wanna be. Finish that line, and I blow your cooey off. Touchy. What shaking, sexy? I'm worried, Tovarish. My sources are running dry. I can't risk further suspicion being cast on old friends. The time has come for action. Action? Well, it's about freaking time. What you got in mind? Burglary. I'm going to break into the Soviet Embassy. Hey, sexy. What do you say you and me just chuck all this for the night? Check into the Savoy, order up some oysters, test the bed springs. I'll teach you the Venus butterfly. I already know it. And I'm allergic to shellfish. Get lost, Svolotch. Remind me again... I'm, I can't. Little the old B and E, huh? Now you're talking my lingo. What's the snatch? All top secret information is in a heavily defended part of the compound, the cryptography room. Right on. That's practically my middle name. Well, my only name. So I noticed. I'm sure we'll find all the answers we need in there. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Crypto, but they seem to know all my old tricks. The North Lawn has been mined. The old gate has been sealed up. They've even placed closed-circuit cameras on the only other wall. Cryptography, huh? So they finally wised up and started studying yours truly. Sorry, Tovarish. Cryptography is the study of secret codes. Cameras are no problem. I'm the president. I've learned how to deal with paparazzi. Crypto smash, you know what I'm saying? You're sure? Because once you start smashing, it won't be long before the KGB shows up to investigate. 
Trust me, efficient destruction is one of my fortes. I don't doubt it. Good luck, Tavarish. Soon you shall be dead, and I'm the hero. On out!
So, did you find anything juicy? Project Solaris is accelerating. Coded traffic to the KGB station in Takushima tripled in the last month. I also managed to get my hands on some cargo manifests. Well, that ought to clear things up a little. So you'd think. But what sort of operation uses seven tons of fissile uranium, 340 liters of human blood, and 92 cases of spam? You've obviously never been to the Pentagon Christmas party. Where is Takawatsit anyway? Takushima. It's a volcanic island nation in the Pacific, off the coast of China. We'll have to watch our step. Dos vidanya. See you there. Hey, Goldie. Uh, where are you going? If we split up, they can't get us both. Besides, I can't hold your hand forever, spaceman. Down, dooby doo, down, down. Come, come. What? Who's there? Spade? Romana, Faye, Sumima, Sinbad. Why I never get to cost like Sailor? I can see much. I am the light. Thou shalt have no other light before me. Which means that lighthouse has to go. Face. Where does an alien go to have some fun around here? Krito, Takushima is a melting pot of ancient and modern human cultures. It has a rich history and a vibrant, popular culture. Okay, save me the history lesson. How do I get into this melting pot? You'll need to get to know the people who live here first. 
The villagers, the urbanites, the police, the ninjas. Wait a minute. Ninjas? They got ninjas in 1969? Eh, go with it. Who doesn't love ninjas? And believe it or not, we are not the only foreigners here. This place is crawling with KGB. They get around, don't they? You always invite me to the nicest places, and then you never let me destroy them. Krito, we're on foreign ground. We have to be careful. Careful, Schmerful. I've been a model of self-restraint, but there's only so much I can take. Sooner or later, nature's gonna take its course, and when it does, well, don't say I didn't warn ya. <laughs> oh, Crypto, you're so impulsive, like a little boy. Little? Ah, uh, Missy, case you hadn't noticed, I'm packing a howitzer over here. No, no, it's a good thing. I haven't left in a long time. There's not a lot to laugh about in my country. Oh. Okay, I guess. You still think I'm sexy, right? I think you're one of a kind. <laughs> right on. So what's the scoop? What'd you drag me down here for? A reliable source has told me that there are KGB agents waiting for a package exchange somewhere in Takushima City. I need you to go down there, intercept the package, and bring it back to me. Easy as thought, da? Sounds like a good idea. In theory. In theory? Well, I'm not hearing a lot of room for Boom Boom in this plan. Perceptive as always. If you screw up the package exchange, you will be blown to smithers. The smithereens. No, thank you. I just ate. Ay, ay, ay. Intercept the package, huh? Okay, how do I do that? Nothing you can't handle. You'll need to disguise yourself as a KGB agent, and talk to the courier when he arrives. He'll probably be a bit on edge. If you approach him as Crypto, he'll most likely destroy the package. Some people have no appreciation for beauty. You know, I'm starting to feel a little taken for granted here. Yeah, I'm not just your little messenger boy. Crypto, is that what you think? I don't see you that way at all. Look, if you do this for me, I promise I'll make it worth your while. Like Venus Butterfly worth my while? More like I let you blow something up worth your while. Hmm, okay. But I get to use nukes. Hope the police will rid Takashima City of those horrid KGB agents. They smell like beets. I go back to Jackass. Agents are super cool! Their spy weapons and deceptively slow automobiles must be ultra ready for big action! I hope they never leave Takoshima City!
Puts never hit you, or say mean things about you behind your back. Greetings, comrade. So, you're, uh, you're going home to the wife ski pretty soon, huh? Duh, it will be being good. I have been missing her vodka pancake syrup. Man, your wife really takes care of you, huh? She must be, like, the best chick in the whole Soviet Union. Oh, you're being right. I will be glad to get home. Got any vodka? Of course. What is good day to being here if must being without vodka? Weak local alcohol is only giving me headache. Luckily, I will be returning home soon. Lucky bastard. But uh, you don't like sake, huh? Saki? Oh, I spit on it, but he's smelling like cesspit and tasting like pain. You're right, comrade. Yo, Saki is one wacky local custom, like washing your clothes or brushing your teeth. Ugh. Puh. What good is city being if he's not able to being drunk? Well, maybe they get high on life. The right, pull other one. In Soviet Union, it's not possible to be working while sober. I am being grateful I am returning soon. Will be good to get properly drunk again. So, you got the, uh, item? What is being hurry? It's good to finding other tovarish, net? Uh, it's just that I, I hate fresh air. Yeah. Plus, I got no sunscreen, and you know, it just seems like every day you read something else about sun damage, wrinkles, you know. Oy, what is happening to stout Soviet spirit? I got Soviet spirit, I just don't want skin cancer. Is that so wrong? Not to mention, I don't particularly want to be seen making a suspicious exchange in public, capiche? Duh, and you are having point about skin cancer. Guess we ought to get on with it, huh? Of course, now you are walking away as if not knowing me, duh? You got it, comrade. Thanks a million. Say hello to the wife ski. Dos vodonia, tovarish. Chatter from the KGB. This is no time for sightseeing, Crypto. I need that package. I'm in place and waiting for package. I just gave you package not 30 seconds ago. Are you drinking on job again? Did you remember to put tracking device on package? It's Stalin have anger management issues. All units, find that package and get it back here at once. Angelina J, you're not even born yet, but I can hardly wait. Let's have a peek, shall we? Oh, Klasno. I did good, huh? Tovarish, you did very good. These documents contain details of the local arm of Project Solaris. Apparently, it's located in a top-secret research facility hidden somewhere on Takushima Island. 
And we'll find it. Yeah, first thing in the AM. Meantime, how about you and me dig up a karaoke bar and a couple of bottles of sake and build ourselves a memory? I do a mean, sweet Caroline. Drop the package and your death will be quick and merciful. Oppose us, and you will be subjected to your own personal gulag of pain. Hey, monkeys, you mind? I'm trying to put the ooves me on the itche. Why, Crypto, is that your native tongue? It sounds so sensual. Business before pleasure. Show yours, don't even quit. I could be having a bit I lost my Kill the girl! Tell me what is that? Not my idea of fun. You are hungry! Monster! That was a close one. I wasn't sure we were going to make it. Thanks for the help, Tavarish. I've got some things to take care of. Catch up with you later, da?
You're looking for trouble, Fosca. Look at me, I'm old. Number three, three Something. Hey, um. Ah! Hey, Holla Poxy, long time no see. Where you been? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Listen, Crypto, I haven't time for your jive talking. We've business to attend to. Bark all you want, Poxy. You don't have a mothership. Hell, you don't even have a hand to slap me with. Don't cross me, Crypto. I'm still your superior officer. And I have friends in high places. Big talk from a guy who doesn't even have a real mouth. Come to think of it, you're at my mercy. I could do anything I want, and you literally can't lift a phalangepod to stop me. I don't need phalangepods to stop you. I'm in the computer, Crypto. I control everything. The steering, the life support, everything! I could kill you with a thought! It's a stalemate! <laughs> well played, Poxy. Takashima, Oriental setting, and the city don't know what the city is getting. You'd better not start singing about chess. I did notice some unique plant life beyond the Zen Temple. <laughs> yeah, well, if it's a plant, I'm sure the monkeys have figured out how to smoke it. It's no laughing matter, Crypto. It seems to be causing them to lose their furonity. Wait a second, you mean... Exactly. It's degrading the furon DNA in their genome to the point of uselessness. Coincidence? I don't think so. Okay, what kind of business? Risky? Shady? Does it involve explosives? Well, not yet. I need you to investigate something of the highest importance. I'm picking up an unlicensed radio transmission coming from somewhere on the island. I want you to listen to the broadcast and find out the location of their base. Another pirate radio broadcast? Are there any legal radio stations left on this planet? Work with me here, Crypto. Whose base? The White Ninja Cults who are broadcasting the message. I believe they're in possession of pieces of our poor mothership, and they're planning to blow them up. Ninjas again? Hello, it's 1969. What are ninjas doing in 1969? Go with it. Besides, who doesn't love ninjas? Okay, let's do this thing. How do I start? I have marked a radio on your navigation map. Get a disguise, find the radio, and flip through the stations until you hear the White Ninja broadcast. Then listen for a clue as to the whereabouts of the White Ninja base. Crypto, as we passed a shop earlier, I caught a glimpse of an amplitudinal modulation receiver. Humans call it a radio. I've marked its location on your map. Find it and let's boogie! What are you talking about?
Ranger Pirate Radio. We have calculated the exact moment we need to go to the Aha! Another radio to the east. I've marked it on your map. We need to find it and get the information I need before the Black Ninjas destroy it. A bowl of confusion. That's what the world is today. I liked the first game. I hope this one's just as good and that I don't die. Here he comes. Behold, here come the full right ninja. Has come to He's a run. demon on wheels. We will not need to jump the comet after all. Here I am, a real live alien. Now bow down before me, ninja. Why heck should I? Who are you? I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. Yeah, today's your lucky day, Sparky. True, you look like Furon, but how can I be sure? Well, for one thing, I could blast you monkeys back to the Muromachi period. Wanna see? Threat's meaningless. You could be costumed toddler with nuclear warhead for all I know. Try me. I ain't no toddler, and this ain't no costume. Perhaps. But two Furon could answer all these questions correctly. If you fail, so sorry, you must die. Then, again, if you Furon, you can clone yourself and come right back. And everybody happy. <sighs> Okay, Sparky, we'll do it your way. Hit me. Who was spiritual leader of hippies in Bay City? Oh. Uh, pay attention! Who was... I know this one. It was that wacko, Coyote Bongwater. Lucky guess. You wish? Give me my spaceship fragments, pajama boy! Not so fast. I have more questions. Hey, I'm on a roll. Bring on the next one. Attempt. Which are following not in Bay City? Stonewall Bar? Ain't that on Christopher Street in the village? Not that I'd have any reason to know that. 
Indeed it is, and therefore not in Bay City. Impressive. And the hits keep coming. What's next, Sparky? Secret KGB base in Bay City. We're hidden. I know this one. The KGB had their base on that prison island, The Rock. They did, indeed. That answer, correct. All right, I played your little game. Now hand over the prize. I gotta see a chick about a chubby. Silence! I still not completely convinced of your furonity. Fine, bring it, PJ. Where Agent Orenchoff hiding out in Albion? Duh, in the abandoned tunnel network. How do you know all this stuff anyway? Correct, but none of your business. Uh-huh. Pretty convenient, ain't it? Come on, come on. I ain't got all day. Then riddle me this. What happened to hipsters who came to happening? You kidding me? They did it all, baby. They made Woodstock look like a tea party. Correct. Oh, so I heard. One more to go. Okay, last question, Sparky. What organization Ponson be really in charge of? He acted with Yul Brenner and Steve McQueen in the Magnificent Seven. Incorrect. Although there was that vampire thing. So, how'd I do, huh, huh? What'd I tell you, right? Furon City, baby! Results conclusive, and you... Then it is true! You are an alien! We worship you, O oh Lord from beyond! Alien! Now alien, that's more like alien, it! Oh. Alien. As a token of our faith, O oh Lord, we offer unto you our most ancient and holy artifacts handed down from an age beyond the memory. Artifacts! 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 I was kind of hoping for geisha girls. Flash ninja! Apostates and unbelievers! We will fight to death in your name, O oh Lord. But first, we must compose our death haikus. Kill them all, and seize their precious artifacts! Hey, nobody screws with my cult but me! Let's see if something more. Are you? 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 Are you?
We give you thanks, O Lord, for this victory. Piece of cake. Now, now about those geisha girls. Yippee. And now, in honor of this mythic triumph, a victory haiku. Steel glints in sunlight. Limbs go frying, bathed in blood, Tarantino-esque. Catchy. Don't suppose you got a haiku describing any super-secret KGB bases hidden around here? <gasps> we do. Secret hidden base, put there by the KGB. Where the hell do you go? Our spiritual leader, Dr. Go, might be able to guide you to enlightenment and secret base. But I'm afraid Dr. Go has been kidnapped. Bye. Why? KGB! Natch, okay. Time to find the good doctor. I know Jim Hey, Matryoshka doll, have I got news for you? You know, Nath, uh, we've only known each other a short time. But in that time, I've, I've come to know the true meaning of the word love, capiche? Crypto, how sweet, and yet completely inappropriate. <sighs> right, it's just... The, the thing is... I was thinking, we could go back to my saucer, a little wine and dinner, I make a mean fusilli. Oh, that's a lovely invitation, Crypto. And tempting, but we have work to do. That don't sound like a no to me. That sounds like a maybe. It's a maybe later. Now focus. Hey, Nat, what do you know about ninjas? Only what I've seen in history books. And, of course, ninja movies. Apparently, the big question in the ninja world is which ninja faction you swear loyalty to. Sort of a Jets and Sharks deal, huh? Okay, what are the choices? At the moment, there are only two. Black or white. I've seen the Black Ninjas. Not bad in a sparring match, but I can handle them. Be careful, Crypto. Black Ninjas are calculated killers. Cruel and vicious. Huh. Didn't realize we had so much in common. What you got for me? I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Me? Only information that may lead to the discovery of the secret base. Tasty. What's the catch? 
It's being held by a mysterious figure who goes by the improbable name of Dr. Go. Oh yeah, I know all about Dr. Go. Really? Then you don't need me to tell you where he's being held. Uh, well, I, I just like hearing you say it. Uh-huh. The real catch is, Dr. Go has been kidnapped and taken to Castle Kuro. Let me guess, and I gotta kick some ninja monkey butt to get him back. That's right! You're really catching on to this spy game, Crypto. Well, I'm not generally in the habit of rescuing humans. I'm more the torturing type, but uh, if it leads to the secret base, for you, baby, anything. My KGB handler wants to date me. The other agents ogle me behind my back. I can't get promoted unless I sleep with the director. It looks like some workers are more equal than others. I'm not really bad. My concept art was just thrown that way. Clean! I hate being naked. And by being naked, of course, I mean operating without backup or cover. Get your mind out of the gutter. My mind says Sharif, but my body says Christy. I suppose I could get Moscow to issue me a more practical set of clothes. Ah, what the hell. If I'm going to save Russia, I might as well look good doing it. How many times do I have to tell the KGB? I do not do honey traps. You want a spy to steal a code? Call me. You want a swallow to seduce a diplomat? Get another bill. Where's my Dr. Zhivago, hmm? How could you, Stalin? You fed us lies and murdered millions! Cute mustache, though. How do I make Pito understand? I just don't feel that way about him. Their cake is sweet. And there is something strangely appealing about a man who is equally at home quoting Pushkin or cutting a Siberian reindeer and wrapping his body in its still steaming carcass for warmth. Hmm. He's a charmer. You think it's easy being a female super spy? Try finding maxi pads at two in the morning in Minsk. I'd like to see James Bond pull that one off. I can't help it if I'm built like a sex kitten. What can I say? I have a head for spycraft and a body for sin. I do rule Olenska. Can I help it if every man I meet turns to borscht? Not to mention by curious women. Ugh, don't get me started. I wonder what KGB policy is on maternity leave. Not that it's urgent, but I won't be 26 forever. I wonder if the KGB offers daycare. The girls got to take a hit. The Oklana, the Cheka, Stasi, KGB, CIA, NSA, they are all the same. Little boys with great big toys. When I have a female friend, someone to talk to, someone to laugh with, have sleepovers with and pillow fights until the milk gets spilled all over someone's nighty. Blin! What, what's come over me? Where's my Dr. Zhivago, hmm? How could you, Stalin? You fed us lies and murdered millions! Cute mustache, though. Are there any Takoshimizko eggs with ugly thighs? Or is it possible they just don't exist? I love Get past me! My name is Luke, uh, Cryptosporidium. I'm here to rescue you. You. You are Furon! That's right, and this is the greatest day of your life. Man, that is one tight suit. How the hell do you breathe in that thing? Small discomfort I endure in wearing suit pales in comparison to joy my wearing it gives to others. Others? Like who? Ladies of Takoshima! 
and gay and bi curious men. First things first, where's the secret KGB base? What? But you said you were here to rescue me. Yeah, but the base location's really all I need. You're, you're kind of optional. More trouble than you're worth, really. No, dear. If you do not rescue me, KGB will kill me. Then you will never find the base, ne? Damn. Well played, egghead. I don't think you understand the situation, Go-Go. I don't have to rescue you. I could just leave you here for the KG Boneheads. You like that option? Logic defeats you. I cannot escape without you. You cannot find base without me. You're insidiously clever for a monkey, you know that? And you are amusingly dim for a Furon. Stairmate! And KGB will be here any moment. <sighs> well, at least I get to kill somebody. Stick close, Doc. Who can it be now? Continue to make the way.
If we cannot contain the virus, we have no choice but to kill the cure. Well, well, way to mangle those cliches, pal. Who's translating this stuff anyway? Yes, me. You fellas ought to get your money back. Let me show you how it's done. Yippee ki yay, Mother Russia.
Good morning, Dr. Go. Hey, you know, I saved your life, Doc. Least you could do is thank me. Thank you? This is an insult. I will not say those two words. Yeah, well, how about these three? Don't kill me. Uh, ahem. Don't kill me. Come on, Doc. Say it like you mean it, if you need some extra motivation. Don't kill me! Please don't kill me! That's more like it. Now just keep saying that, and it might even keep you alive. You look a little rough around the edges, Doc. Not that I care. I would not expect you to care. But yes. I was roughed up by some ninjas. You ought to take better care of yourself. You're no good to me dead. Nor to myself. I suppose you are ready to correct on our bargain? Check out the big brain on Doc. Yeah, it's time for you to pay up in information. No beating around the bamboo, Doc. I want the location of the KGB base. Fair enough. The base is... Inside the volcano. But... No buts, Doc. Or I go all Iron Chef and get out the monkey cookbook. No, no. It's just... You need three security codes to access base. Codes oh, for arc fools. Okay, what are they? If I had them, I would tell you. But sadly, I do not. Oh, this just gets better and better. <sighs> One code is held by KGB leader, Agent Sasha Soysorsky. The second is kept by enigmatically beautiful Professor Yuki. Third code is in my briefcase, which was stolen by Brack Ninja and taken back to their base. Well, at least now I know the score. I'll start with the Black Ninjas and your code. Good plan. And while you are finding my code, I will try to ascertain locations of other two code keepers. Right on. I'm off to fry some Black Ninjas and find that damn briefcase. Oh, here. You need key to open briefcase. Don't lose it. Only one I have. First code is held by dastardly Black Ninja. Drive all the way out to Island north of Takoshima City for Black Ninja job interview. And then they don't even interview me? No thanks. We are looking for someone to. How oh dare Black Ninjas take over Island north of Takoshima City? They had no authorization! Without discipline, what separates us from Americans? Superior grooming skills are not enough! The the leader of White the Black Ninja Ninjas. And look to right, I can heart. trick him into giving me the package. Well, you go. Oh, 
Hot ninja brother, what is your purpose here? Ah, uh, nothing special. Just thought I'd check on the briefcase. Oh yeah, looks pretty secure. Stupid. Case very secure. Anyone want to take, they have to fight Buku Black Ninja. Yeah, I have to be pretty dumb to take on a whole base of black ninjas. <clears throat> hey! Oh, who even think of trying? Die thousand horrible deaths! Does it no more waiting? I got the year of the monkey itch, and I am the monkey We are going to get Oriental on your ass! Luminous High! The devil has unleashed my teeth of fury! We will kill you, your own son! Then we will kill your clone! We will have your own invasion! Sunday! You will not take our briefcase! You are nemesis of Black Ninja, and our nemesis can only die! Do it! Open case! Brings a freaking tear to my eye. Hiya, Doc. Okay, one down. Where do I find the next code, Doc? It resides with my exo-girlfriend, enigmatically beautiful Professor Yuki. You're pulling my pud. You actually got a chick to go out with you? Oh, yes. And when she hears of my escape from Brack Ninja, I know she'll want me back. Uh-huh, yeah. And where do I find the old flame, Go-Go? She frequently tends to Zen Rock Garden in Zen Temple. I bet she's a hottie, huh, Doc? A sexy lady, foxy mama, huh? Please don't kill her. No promises. This tiger territory! Um... You looking for trouble, Tosca? Yes, I must stop fantasizing about Professor Yuki-san raking rocks in the Zen Garden. It's starting to affect my work. But images are so hauntingly erotic. Maybe. I dress like a white ninja. Perhaps then I will win the heart of Professor Yuki-san at Zen Temple. If not, at least I will look totally bitchy. What you talk of? What? I warning you. Gaijin! I must not be unkind. It is not Professor Yuki-san's fault that my husband cries out her name in the night. It is fault of her tranquil intelligence and a peaceful yet slightly arousing atmosphere at Zen Temple. Men. Even rocks make them think of sex. I know it's... Konnichiwa. Can I help you? Professor Yuki, I presume. I am. I got good news, Professor. Your main squeeze, Dr. Go, has escaped Black Ninja custody. That is good news indeed. But you are mistaken. We are no longer involved.
Maybe not, but I gotta tell you, the good doctor would love to see you. Really? Why should I see him? You know, to, to catch up, reminisce, hell, I don't know, write a haiku together. Haiku? He said that? A romantic devil. He knows how I love haiku. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Him, too. So, does that mean you'll see him? I will consider it. In the meantime, there is a photograph of me on the rock in Zen Temple Garden. Find it and take it to him with my love. No, too strong. With my affection. My fond affection. And tell him I might entertain the thought of writing haiku with him. Might. You. You got it, Teach. Hello? What? Eight inches. I measured. Take that to cut you out of stereotype. I have a pen and a I know Jim Kata in Foreign Why Ninja I go back to the office Looks like there's a pattern here. One more piece of the puzzle. Which reminds me of the stone. What's up, Doc? <laughs> it kills me every time. Got a nice picture of your girl for my wallet, Doc. Candid, if you catch my drift. Now, where do I find the last code? The Gaijin who stole Yuki from me has a final code. Cast him and his ancestors! He is a KGB division head called Sasha Soysorsky. Now that's what I call a subtle gag. Where do I find this tongue twister? He is holed up in KGB building in Takoshima City. I think perhaps he is depressed. But in any case, I fear you'll have to destroy a whole building to get him out! Why, Doctor, surely you're not suggesting I kill him? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. And it's just a coincidence the Ruski's making time with your Chica, right? Don't worry, Doc. I'll wreck the place good and take the code from his dead red fingers. There 
There you go, Doc. The lady's all yours. For the moment. What's the buzz, Foxy Mama? So, you, me, jacuzzi, chocolate syrup, what do you say? I'm allergic to chocolate. Wow, no kidding. That's gotta suck. Eek, Soviet chocolate is made from mud anyway. Plus, I have to fit into this outfit. And on behalf of oversexed aliens everywhere, let me just say thank you. Guess who now knows the location of the secret base? It's the volcano. I know, but we need codes to get in. I know where to find the first... We could do what you were gonna say, or I could reach into my pocket and pull out... Crypto? You have the codes? This is wonderful! What are they? I... love... you. Not now, Crypto. We have work to do. Tell me the security codes. Those are the codes. Also, who's on first, what's on second, and I don't know who's on third. Now then, I'm off to infiltrate the secret KGB base. Don't wait up. Very funny, Crypto. I'm coming with you. Uh, no, you're not. It's too dangerous. Your chauvinism is touching, Crypto. But I don't take orders from you. Don't be stupid, Nat. In case you've forgotten, you can't just reclone yourself. And in case you've forgotten, you don't know how to operate the access terminals outside the base. Uh, you're the most infuriating female monkey I've ever met. That's your problem. To you, I'm always female monkey. Why can't I just be monkey? Be whatever you want. I just don't want you to be a dead monkey. Crypto? That's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. Yeah, well, I just don't want to lose my shot at sinking the pinko, that's all. Of course, I understand. Alright, enough meaningful chit chat. Let's climb this smoke bomb. Okay, Tovarish, you line them up, I'll knock them down. No offense, Dollface, but shouldn't it be the other way around? I was the best shot in my class, Crypto. And I once fought my way out of an East German football riot, wearing a West German jersey. I'm not a sidekick. No offense, Dickon. Will you marry me? No, but thank you for asking. Cover me while I tickle you say this Natalia. I went to academy with her. She humiliated me. Is that right? 
Code. Okay, doll face Lady jumps out of the way. Shadow. Punch that code in and let's get cracking. I'd say I'm in the cause. Oh, big Vito, I get to punch a code into this terminal. Watch my back. Love to, doll face, but I got monkey truck. Shooting!
that. Shh, shh. I think I heard someone talking. our final strike! I can't get to the first terminal as long as those guns are operational. are down for the count. Now get your hot little cookie in here and juice up this terminal. Terminal. I don't like this, Krito. Taking out those guns should have brought more KGB agents running. It's quiet. Too quiet. What the hell was that? I guess a four? Uh, maybe 4.2? Stop talking! You're making it worse! Bring a fire in my ass! Short! The terminal is broken! I need time to fix it! Ixnay on the Akente! In case you hadn't noticed, your voice has magic earthquake powers! Uh-oh! Here comes trouble! Break out the fancy china! I'm cooking up my special monkey stew!
Zahamuha, Premier Milinkov. I regret I was unable to join you in person. Unfortunately, the quantum uncertainty of this experiment demands I maintain a safe distance. <laughs> it's Heisenberg's world. I just play in it. Experiments? What are you talking about? I'm so pleased you asked. We've prepared an educational multimedia presentation for just such a work. Meet Gojira, Shilsingo, a Pisces, and the summer intern for credit at the illegal KGB base here in Takoshiva. Like any good Soviet worker, she was happy to volunteer for top secret experiment. This Twitter handle, experiment is underway. Watch how Morton miracle of quantum radiation transforms Kojira, bringing out her giant potential. However, the two of you will never see it again. Why? Because... Auto-destruct sequence initiated. The base will now self-destruct. To for your love! She stole my life! <laughs> In any case, good night. Thank you for coming. And have a very pleasant day. We need all the other big men. I'll grab them and meet you outside. What? No, please. Soviet Union just tried to turn us into Takashimi's barbecue. I Hey, doll face, when the heat is on, the hot get going. Hey, Poxy. Finally kicked you out of the Geisha house, huh? Did you figure out where that ginormous monster went? Not for certain. But I'm picking up a signal in the ocean to the south. Yeah? What kind of signal? A radiation signature. Emanating in gamma waves from the creature's tortured brain. Tortured? Yes. It's as if the monster is crying out, Kill me! Kill me! That's gotta be the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. Look, Pox, explain this monster to me. The Ivans can't even make a decent wristwatch. How the hell they come up with the technology to turn a summer intern into that? I've been trying to figure that one out myself. And I keep coming to the same conclusion. They didn't. What are you suggesting? I'm not sure, but there's more than good old-fashioned Russian can-do spirit at work here. You're telling me those people have all the initiative of a normal convention. 
So you want me to hunt down this monstrosity and put it out of its misery? Actually, I want you to read its mind and into it the source of its cognitive dissonance. So we can get it some help and over time teach it confidence and self-esteem. You gotta be kidding me. Of course I am, you mutation! Now go kill that thing! Okay, okay. But how do I find it? Do I have to? You get in your saucer and fly to the spot marked on your radar. Look for bubbles on the water. That's a pretty good sign. There's a monster! So then what? I just drop some fat boys into the water and blow it up? Unfortunately, no. Your saucer's weapons are ineffective underwater. You'll have to figure out some way to get the beast to surface first. And then I play a little whack-a-lizard. Got it. Blood bath coming up. Damn! 
deal here, Pogs. The more stuff that thing knocks down, the more it regenerates. Then kill it faster! You kill it faster! Every time I knock it to the canvas, it just comes back bigger and better than ever! Well, it has to have a weakness somewhere! Find it and hit it hard! You don't want it to be one I don't give a damn about my little ninja groupies. I'm worried about getting my ass
Not what it looks like. I don't even know what it looks like. <sighs> Never mind, we don't have time. Now, I just received word from Sergei, my contact at the KGB. He says they're building Project Solaris at a Soviet base in Siberia. The town is called Tunguska. It's a little remote. No kidding, because I thought everything in Russia was 20 minutes from everything else. <laughs> Tick tock, doll face. So this is Tunguska. Yikes. 
It's good to be back in the USSR, but this place makes the rest of Siberia look tropical. Looking good, Goldie. That outfit could melt an iceberg. Thanks. You're welcome to borrow it sometime if you like. Yeah, a little nippy. I better incinerate something for heat before my tool falls off. Can't have that. But I think we can arrange an opportunity for creative combustion. We need to gather intelligence on Project Solaris. Want to help me out? You know it, sugar. What do you need me to do? I'm not sure yet. I'll know more after Agent Sergei briefs me. Sergei? Ah, oh, man. Not him again. Yes, him again. He's been here for weeks, digging up intel on Project Solaris. Yeah, he's a regular 007 off. What's he got that I ain't got? Hair, for one thing. Here he comes. Let me do the talking. Ukraine girls knock me out. Moscow girls make me shout. It's good to see you, Sergei. Natalyushka, you look devastating, as usual. I know, but we have no time for further verbal foreplay. What can you tell me of Project Solaris? Not as much as I'd like. Not as much as I'd like. There is a classified area nearby, obscured day and night by a cloud of radioactive gas. I believe it is the source of the insidious organic weapons being used to subjugate. Svolochi. Ah. The area plans are kept in a high security section of KGB headquarters. Can you sneak us in? You and your little Zaitchik? I don't see how. Now, if it were just the two of us. Jealousy, Sergei? Though the fire fades, comrade, the embers may yet smolder. Even in the tundra. Thank you, comrade. We'll find our own way in. Now go. You mustn't be seen with me. So, exactly what kind of history do you have with this Sergei guy? Exactly the kind you think, Crypto. Not that it's any of your business. Hey, see whoever you want. You can bang the Red Army Chorus for all I care. Your permission is noted. Now can we get to work? Sergei, who does he think he is? Omar Sharif? I mean, look at the guy. What is he, bench? 80, 85, tops? He wrestles bears. <laughs> okay, so how do we get our hands on the plans? Sergei says we'll have to sneak into the KGB headquarters and steal them. Oh, Sergei says that, does he? He does. The odds will be against us. The place is swarming with agents. Well, Crypto says bring them on. The more the freaking merrier. Okay then. Hmm. Actually, you might be onto something there, Crypto. If you can create a large enough disturbance, it might lure most of the agents out of the building. And while I'm playing monkey ball, you'll sneak in and grab the plans. Gotcha. Okay, dull face. I'm off to stir up the Soviet. Careful in there, you hear me? Don't worry, Crypto. You keep them occupied, and I'll be just fine. Whatever you do, just keep them away from the HQ building. Good luck.
Not bad, huh? If there's one thing I can do, it's make with the boom boom. Admit it, Goldie. I'm your knight in a shining spacesuit, and you just can't resist me. I'm resisting you right now, Crypto. And you're wearing my LAR pajamas. Damn. So how about those plans you swiped? They the real deal or what? I just had time to glance at them quickly before the alarms went off. There seem to be a number of tunnels and a lot of security around them. And it looks like the tunnels have these bizarre organic pumps inside, which are what's pumping the radioactive gas over the area. So I take it we're gonna put these organic pumps out of business. Da. But a direct assault would be dangerous. I need to talk to some people. Lay low for a while, Tovarish. I'll be back soon. Why do they always ask me to do the one thing I suck at?
Dobry den, towarzysz. Hey man, if I said you had a great body, would you hold it again? I like you, Crypto, but I will neuter you if I have to. Fair enough. Hey, gorgeous. Did you find out any more about those tunnels? What I found is a scientist who works in the organic weapon technology program here. He knows all about the machines in those tunnels. I, uh, persuaded him to talk. So you persuaded the scientist to talk, huh? Uh, did he survive the persuasion? Violence isn't the answer to everything, Crypto. For example, have you noticed the male to female ratio in this village? You sly dog. Hey, all I did was sit there. What'd you find out? Is there any easy way to shut those things down? Those pumping machines are actually organic little nuclear reactors. Incredible! Not to mention highly unstable. A nuclear fuel rod placed inside one will overload it and cause a meltdown. And there just happens to be a nuclear plant in town. Ought to be a few fuel rods lying around. Exactly! If you get some fuel rods, Sergei and I will smuggle them into the tunnels. Okay, Goldie, I'll get your fuel rods for you. But I expect a big reward. Agent Sergei is acquiring some transportation as we speak. He'll meet you when you find them. Hm, you can ask him for your reward. Scientists are conducting many nuclear experiments in town. I suppose would explain why I am peeing green lately. What the fucking I am wondering if Stalin was having sense of humor. Probably not. At last, Icebreaker ship has arrived with fuel rod supplies. Perhaps anti-hair loss lotion I am ordering for my Yelda has come too. The sensors on the saucer are picking up some significant radiation levels near you, Crypto. Either gas or scout is acting up, or there must be fuel rods nearby. Agent Sergei is waiting for the truck not far from here. I know how you feel about him, Crypto, but you must conquer your personal issues and take him those fuel rod containers.
Done, Crypto. Our cargo has arrived at the safe house. Now, come and see me. We need to talk. Whoa, look at that. Finished already. And here I was, just getting started. Of <laughs> course, I work out. Don't know if you knew that. Thank you, Crypto. Sergei and I can take it from here. I'll bet. Uh, hey, how about I just stick around and help you out myself? You know, since I'm already here, I'm sure Sergei's a busy guy. You know, embassies to bug, dissidents to torture. You're very generous, Crypto. But I think he can find the time. I'll rejoin you once he and I have disabled the machines in the caves. Until then, try and stay out of trouble. Well, that wasn't condescending. 
Mm -hmm. So, he makes time with my girl while I sit around and twiddle my phalangipods, is that it? Well, homie, don't play that. I made it through a whole nother game all by myself. I don't need anybody's permission to knock some monkey heads. Certainly not some... chicks. He's not potato, he's not snow. What else is there being? Illegal aliens! Ouch! Hello, comrade. Uh, I'm starving and broke. Little help here, what do you say? Sure. If you are telling me which drink caused major problems in Bay City, America recently. Uh, okay. Water? Come on, you are not even trying. Not that that's a weird question or anything, but the answer's revelation. Oh, thank God you're here. I'm so tired of trying to talk like a Russian. You have any idea how hard it is? Not really. You're about to find out. I got a job for you. I'm all going undercover. Think you can handle it? Depends. What's in it for me? Glory, honor, yeah, I got nothing. But I want revenge. The snitch who got a friend of mine arrested. He's probably dead by now, but the snitch is still alive. He'll be in the food line, somewhere nearby. Curiosity is being beat. This in Soviet Union game is playing you! What is that being? I'm hearing Agent Sierra can be roast. Why am I having to wait in line for food? For once, I am wishing we are not all equal. So I could be cutting in front of all these losers. Ha <laughs> ha! Why are we feeding proletariat workers? It's Science Town. They should be feeding scientists. Science Town could be developing food pill. Then we are not needing to stand in line. Who am I kidding? It's Soviet Union. We stand in line to die. Am I being right here, people? Hello? Is this thought being on? Science Town is being overrun by proletariat wanting food. Why are we not just sharing food pills? I am not knowing. It's so much simpler. I am hating my life. I am so hungry. I am wanting to nibble on ear a person in front of me. Me? That is not being hunger. I am knowing I should have been going to the toilet before getting in food line. But how am I knowing would be in line five hours? Ow! Hey, no, Dad! My shoes are just being three sizes too small! Science Town is nice to be giving out food. I am not knowing scientists are caring about proletariat.
stomach is rumbling like moving glacier. Do not worry if you're not knowing what glacier is being, kids. By the time you are playing this game, there will not be any left. Zadnitza! Ha ha ha! Fools! KGB are having special scientist food pills! Incredibly nutritious! Ugh, but not very feeling. I am Helianski! Oh, hello. Uh, you should not be feeding proletariat. Hungry people are being easier to beat up. I'm glad Science Town is having food lines. Ladling out gruel each day was making helmets stink. I would be feeling guilty for turning over American Pie, but he is having such nice shoes. Show me scruple which can stand up. Привет, товарищ. How's it hanging? A little to the left. Hey, hey, not bad, Goldie. So, you and, uh, you and Sergei, huh? He's really, uh, something. Where'd the two of you meet? At the KGB Academy, actually. No kidding. What was he, uh, the janitor? As a matter of fact, he finished second in our training class. Hmm. I got three guesses who came in first, and they all start with N. <laughs> I think that was part of the attraction. He'd never lost to a girl before. Wonder if he's ever lost to a Furon. So what happened? Your kids seem made for each other. He wanted me to quit. It's not easy always being second best, I expect. Tell me about it. The soldiers shut down the pumps in the tunnels with those fuel rods? Yet. Too much KGB heat on the tunnels because of the theft. I should have seen it coming. Anyway, it's too dangerous for Sergei and me to infiltrate them now. Well, we gotta shut those pumps down. Whole town smells like Newark. Oh, we will, Crypto. Have no fear. And this time, I want you on the job. I need you to carry a fuel rod into each of the tunnels and place it in the reactor of each of the pumping machines. Sergei and I have hidden a container of fuel rods near each tunnel. Wait, you, you lost me. Didn't you say the tunnel entrances were crawling with KGB? No. But not while the scientists conduct their weekly radiation tests. No sweat, dollface. Consider those pumps out of order.
don't expect you to carry that fuel rod into the tunnel with your bare philanthropons, Crypto. Use your psychokinesis. Brains, but I'd kill to know what's 
from under that gas cloud on the surface. Jim can only give so many bits. Repress the war. I am wanting Call of TV. I am there for having all the fun. Bing, bada boom. Look at those bad boys burn. Hold the phone. What do these freaks want? Wait a minute. Now that I think of it, that machinery looks suspiciously familiar. Oh my. Holy hookers of our foodle! Crypto, do you know who these freaks are? They're not commie cabbage heads. Great galaxies, no! They're not even human! They're the enemy! Our enemy! The enemy we funerals defeated in the Martian War! Crypto! They're Blisk! Blisk? Wait a minute, I, I thought we wiped the Blisk out. I have no explanation! I can barely believe my senses! But a few of them must have somehow survived! Not for long. Attention, Blisk! I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. And your asses belong to me. Arkfudo's lines! Your weapons simply aren't calibrated for this sort of warfare. The fact is useless against the this. Yes, okay. You and your rubber game. If those crabby shells aren't bad enough, we've got defense shields! Try using a different weapon, Crypto. You must have something that can short out those shields! This is not this crap! I'm rather proud of you. Now, come back to the holobox, 
it. I've got more to tell you about these blisk. I'm glad you're here, Crypto. We need to hunker down and do some serious strategizing. You know any place I can get one of those big furry hats? My ears are freezing off. You don't have any ears. See? That's what I'm saying. Tell me about it. You gotta fill me in on this whole Blisk thing, Pox. My... my hard drive is spinning! I hardly know where to begin! They're huge, hideous brutes with giant claws and withering halitosis! They have a single hive mind and an imperviousness to radiation! They take to it like a pig to mud! Imagine a cockroach mating with a lobster! Oi, enough already. You're making me queasy. Humans assume the Tunguska Blast of 1908 was caused by a meteorite. But now we know its true cause. The fiery crash of a Blisk warship! Listen, I, I skipped most of military history. How'd that war get started, anyway? Millennia ago, Mars was an ocean world, and the Blisk ruled an underwater paradise. Frankly, they were more than a little cocky about it. The war was long and bitter, but in the end we reduced their world to desert and wiped them out! Or so we thought. We obliterated most of their warships, though one we could not account for. We assumed it had been destroyed, but it must have been merely disabled and drifted helplessly through space until it crash-landed here on Earth. And I'm guessing the Krabbies ain't the forgiven time. After what we did to them, not bloody likely. Yeah, well, don't you worry your virtual little head, Pox. This time they're going down for good. A bold statement. Many Furons fell thanks to the Blisk. And there's another problem. Since the war, the Furon defense budget has been... downsized. I fear that most of our current weapons will be ineffective against the Blisk. Downsize the defense budget? What the hell did the Emperor do that for? The Blisk were exterminated. No one else posed such a lethal threat. We didn't need the big guns. But none of us saw this coming. Okay, well, at least we know what we're up against. What do you want me to do? I'll contact you with new orders as soon as I have some idea what's going on. Until then, just... don't do anything rash. Rash me? Nah, I got a cream for that. Clear to ride up. If only our mothership was still intact! Its archived data on the disk might have helped me develop weapons upgrades capable of cracking those shells. But that data is irretrievable now. Oh, the Furonogy! Привет, комрад. Get to the point, Sergey. I'm a busy Furon. I have a lead on Project Solaris. You might want to follow up on it. Project Solaris, huh? Okay, I'm listening. I have the name of the researcher in charge of the Organic Weapons Program. His name is Dr. Orloff. And? No, and. That's it. Look, Ivan, let's cut the crap. 
We both want the same thing, and we can't both have her. True enough. But in this matter, Chujoi, we two are comrades. We both need to uncover the cancer devouring the heart of the Soviet Union. You got me there. But what about Natalia? Natalia is a glorious mare who will suffer no bridal. That is why we desire her. Poetic, yet creepy. Okay, so you got a name. Where am I supposed to find this Orlov guy? I have been unable to discover his current whereabouts. But this is a small town. Everyone knows everyone else's business. And I got one of those faces everybody opens up to. Although I doubt Orlov will be in a talky mood. Do what you have to do. Gee, that really means a lot coming from the KGB. Okie dokie. Good luck, comrade. And don't be afraid to get a little rough, hmm? Well, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few Fabergé eggs. Thank heavens I am not living out by frozen lake. Crazy doctor out there, always running bizarre experiments, when any sensible person is knowing, science is nothing but smoke and mirrors to making peasants feel stupid. Now where do I put newspaper? I must be checking horoscope before I am going to psychic. I saw Dr. Roll of stumbling through the other night after a few too many walkers. You should perhaps consider exchanging cab into Northwest for spacious studio apartment in town so it will not fall and freeze to death after all night vendors. Or loft. Loft would be very nice. Dead monkeys tell no tales, and I need to pick this one's brain about Project Solaris. Crap. Better save his monkey butt. Dr. Olaf has locked himself inside cabin. Flush him out!
preserving way of life! You messing with the wrong fool on now! Under the trees, monkey! Dr. Orlov, I presume? How come you don't get cool punctuation like Dr. Go? I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like you had a little KGB infestation. Lucky I was here to exterminate him for you. Oh, was you? I'm impressed. Excellent hand-eye coordination. You should try computer game I've been developing in spare time. Games? On a computer? <laughs> You're wasting your time, Doc. So, Doc, you got a sec? I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, is all? I was afraid you were one of alien creatures here to infect me. Listen, aliens don't come any scarier than me. When I infect you, you'll know it. Suddenly, I feel vaguely aroused. <laughs> That's the end of that conversation, Branch. Well, as you can clearly see, I'm no alien. <clears throat> now, uh, about Project Solaris. Ah, Solaris, da. That I know something about. I worked on organic weapons program connected with Project Solaris. But I quit after I saw very strange things. Define strange. Alien creatures like giant space lobsters infecting humans and manipulating their bodies like giant marionettes. Like that. I feared I might be next, so I started working on weapon to fight them with. It's probably why KGB attacked me. Or they wanted my Broadway soundtrack collection. This weapon you were working on, uh, does it work? I don't know, I never finished it, whole thing happened by chance. I was walking to work one day when strange object fell from sky. A fragment of alien spacecraft, computer data bank I used to create weapon. An alien artifact with data on the blisk, will wonders never cease. Duh, and if you found it, perhaps you could use it to defeat creatures. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the picture. Where's this data thingy now? Should still be in the research facility in Gorodok Nauki. Um, uh, science town. Catchy. I guess I better head over there and find it before the Krabbies do. Take care, facility is well guarded. Good luck, Tovarish. Uh, what did you say name was? Uh, Kuriakin. Ilya Kuryakin, nice to meet you.
They are researching a facility in center of town. Perhaps cure for Yelda Baldness. It would be almost too good to be true. Uh, the artifact should be quite safe in that metal container. They are being far stronger than wooden ones. Oh, of course, it's not titanium. That stuff is being tremendously strong. And concrete. Woo! Do not be getting me started. Hello? How nice of you to drop by. Hey, Pox. What do you get when you put 60 Blisk Warriors in a blender? I don't know. What do you get when you put 60 Blisk Warriors in a blender? Chowder! <laughs> Okay, Pox, what are we gonna do about these crabby blisk? They'll undoubtedly kill us if we don't kill them first. Therefore, there's only one thing we can do. Destroy them! Starting with their crashed warship. Unfortunately, as discussed, its hull is impervious to Furon weaponry. It does, however, have a weakness. The main thruster protected by an armored hatch. Open that hatch, Crypto, and then bring on the Boom Boom! You are so cute when you do that. Are you sure my saucer can't finish that warship off? It looks total. Well, it can't fly, but it still makes an impregnable base. Your saucer can't put a dent in it. You see, during the Martian War, Furon nuclear weapons were the envy of the galaxy. But we converted to conventional arms after our little DNA mutation issue. And believing our supremacy unchallenged, diverted resources to other, more frivolous concerns. Such as... Poverty, education, healthcare... Trivia! 
utter trivia. Who cares our damned complacency? So just cause little Jeremy wants to read, my saucer can't do squat against the Krabbies. Goddamn politicians. So how do I get this thruster hatch open? It's gotta be locked down tight. It is. And my scans reveal the hatch controls have been disabled. It seems the Blisk have removed the Nexus crystals powering the circuit, but not destroyed them. Those crystals are still around somewhere. I'm reading a faint Nexus signature somewhere inside the Blisk base. Find the Nexus crystals to power the circuit and open the hatch. Then, destroy that warship! I think little Crypto just woke up. All right, Poxy, I'm tan, rested, and ready. Let's bring this crab pot to a boil. Bam! Right! Head for the Bliss base and see if you can find those crystals. I'll keep scanning while you're inside. If I lock on to the crystals, I'll let you know. And be careful. These Bliss are a lot stronger than... Anybody else I've fought, I got it. Don't worry. Ponzabi was right about one thing. Everybody cracks. Brace yourself, Crypto. This mission is going to be an extreme test of your particular... Um, talents. Head into the Blisk base on foot and see if you can find those Nexus crystals. Scanners are picking up a weak signal from one of the crystals near your current location. There, Crypto! That Blisk warrior has it! Take him out and pry that crystal from his cold, scaly hands!
I know you've been waiting for. Call in the saucer, Crypto, because it's time to play No Abnoblisk Warship. And remember, don't waste your ammunition firing at the hull. The only vulnerable spot is inside that thruster. You crabbies don't learn so good, do you? Fabulous work! of still frozen solid <laughs> melt the obstruction with my superheated plasma. Accept oh, this landing beacon in magnanimous thanks. About freaking time! Enough pussyfooting around! Me wanna make boom boom!
cinches it, Crypto! You've wiped out the Bliss base! I've half a mind to put you up for a medal, but only half. What is the revolution will not be Crabbies won't screw with us now. Not after what I did to their warship. Don't get cocky, Crypto. There's still at least one loose end left to tie up. You may have destroyed the Bliss base, but we still don't have Millencom. Hey, Pa, she seen the blonde babushka? She's supposed to meet me here. No, I haven't. As a matter of fact, you haven't even properly introduced us. Yeah, well, I'm trying to impress her. Oh, relax. I have more pressing matters than torpedoing your grand designs. Actually, I was hoping she could help us track down Milinkov. Perhaps she's with Agent Sergei. You know her, always working. She's probably just looking for leads on Milinkov. Quite possibly, she is most efficient. Perhaps Agent Sergei is helping her. <sighs> she better not be, man. I have had it with that smug jerk-off. Look at me. I'm so handsome, I'm so smart. I read poetry, I wrestle bears. Regardless, you should probably find Natalia. She may even need your assistance. Yeah, 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 I'm going. Good. Snoop around. Somebody must have seen her. Udachi, comrade. Pathetic prisoners being held in KGB base is not being Four Diamond Hotel, I can be telling you that. They were just now taking traitor Natalia to alien base. She is going to be getting what she is deserving. Hot boy. Oh. All right, Liz. This is gonna get messy, and wouldn't you know it, I'm all out of lobster pits. Why, hello there, comrade. Doctor Orlov, just the cat I wanted to see. I see the KGB caught up with you, Doc. What do you think they'll do to you now? I expect either torture me or give me to Blisk for doing with as they are pleasing. Perhaps you could be helping me out of here, Doc? Love to, Doc, but I gotta find that first. I'll swing back by if I get a chance. You haven't seen a hot blonde cheek around here, have you? Name's Natalia. I did! Alien creature was taking pretty woman up to alien base! Oh, she is tough cookie! Was putting up quite a struggle! If they hurt a hair on her sexy little head, I'm gonna boil every last one of them! Well, they are only passing by a short time ago. If you hurry, you might catch them. Uh, when finished, perhaps you could be rescuing me as well? I'll just wait.
Thank Lenin you're here. The worst has come to pass. Sergei is infected. Ah, for crying out. Uh, tell me you use protection. Uh, or don't they teach sex ed in the young pioneers? Kakaya Danisa! I am not talking about STDs! He's been infected with alien spores! Indeed, he has Lapushka, and I'm afraid Penicillin won't do the trick. Hello, Cryptosporidium. Millenkov. Uh, sorry to rain on your Communist Party, but uh, in case you haven't noticed, your little base looks like Keith Moon redecorated. You've lost. Such bluster, such arrogance. You're beginning to sound like real American. Soon you'll be wearing cowboy hat and speaking in monosyllables. Says you. The truth is, this base means nothing. At this very moment, we are preparing to initiate the final phase of Operation Solaris from our ultra-secret main facility on the moon. It's the ultimate fruition of the Stalinist ideal. What a shame, neither of you will be there to see it. Goodbye, Lapushka Moya. Do svidanya, Kritos Boridium. Krito, leave me! Stop milling cough! Keep your kakashnik on, dollface. You think I'm flying to the moon without you? To 
товариш! Look, it sucks that Melinkov got away, but I couldn't let you... you know... I know, Crypto, and... thank you. But we still have to stop Melinkov, and he's halfway to the moon by now! Ugh! What are we going to do? Uh, hello? Have saucer, will travel! I was wondering when you'd ask! Your saucer can take both of us all the way to the moon? You kidding? I've done so many mods on that baby, she'll give you everything but the happy ending. Nice of you to join me. Hey, Dollface. You seen my new weapon yet? Dark Crypto. Very impressive. Well, you know what they say. Big guns, large arsenal. <laughs> you know, that may be the clumsiest innuendo you've ever attempted. Thanks. I wrote it myself. Give me the scoop, Dollface. What do we know about this Blisk base? Not much, other than it seems to be the main Blisk stronghold. It contains their hive, and the weapon they plan to use to destroy Earth! And that's bad. See? See? I'm really getting this spy stuff, huh? Tell me about the hive. I'm guessing it ain't filled with honey. Yet. The hive contains all the Blisk spores, hundreds of thousands of them. And the spores feed voraciously on radioactive materials. Radiation. 
Why did it have to be radiation? Okay, what do we know about this Blisk weapon? It's an organic spore shooter, and it too needs radiation to charge itself. Jeez, enough with the radiation! My nads are shriveling like crazy! Okay, Sexy, what's the plan? We must find a way to prevent the proliferation of the Blisk spores. Our intel shows the spores derive energy from massive radiation. We need to cut off their radiation supply so we can slow them down. Radiation. Why does it always have to be radiation? <sighs> oh. So how do they get their radiation supply? Their lunar rovers deliver radioactive materials from the mine to the base. I want you to follow one of the rovers to the mining site. Is that all? I thought it was gonna be some hard. You got it, babe.
If you can stop it, you have cut off the Fisk's energy supply. Now get out there and cancel that delivery! Chit chat. Let's get down to brass tacks. All right, Pox. I need some serious intel on Moonbase Solaris. Right. Moonbase Solaris consists of two primary areas: the Blisk Base and the Cosmonaut Base, like two lobes of the same twisted mind. You know, Pa, you got a pretty cushy job here. I do all the fighting while you just sit around eating bonbons. In case you hadn't noticed, Crypto Spiridion, I have no body! And nobody cares for you! <laughs> Get it, Pox? <laughs> Okay, what do we know about the Blisk, aside from their ugly hissing? They are indeed a most repulsive race, and incredibly vicious. Further, they treat their workers very badly and have offensively short tempers. Any resemblance to present company is completely coincidental. Okay, what about the Cosmonauts? Well, they're just humans, of course. Albeit the cream of Soviet citizenry. They think their leaders here represent some sort of shadowy Kremlin cabal. Of course, the Blisk have been playing them like puppets. Not that they realize it. They're so proud. If they knew how the Blisk were using them, they'd be furious! Sounds to me like we need to send the cosmonauts a little wake-up call. Not a bad idea. A crowd seems to be assembling in the cosmonaut base. Why don't you check it out? I think it's time the puppets met their masters, hmm? Okay, I got it. Turn the cosmonauts against the Blisk. This is gonna be fun!
There is moon, there is moon. Everywhere is moon, moon, moon. I am wishing I did not have to hurry to Cosmonaut Base. In fact, I am wishing I could skip Big Speech altogether. I am wishing instead I could be getting baked. But I will be being good Soviet citizen and going to speech. And then I will be getting baked. Low gravity is being delightful. Although it's difficult playing volleyball in spacesuit. Greetings, fellow children of the Glorious Workers' Revolution. Be getting lost. We are waiting to hear from Comrade Cosmonaut Leonid. Disgusting fumes from mining site are making me sick as dog. Despite fact there's no air on moon. I need to spend more time in clean air of biodome, like Commander Leonid. Party leaders say all workers are being equal, but I am working in disgusting mines while ugh, disgusting fumes from a mining site are making me sick as dog. Despite fact there's no air on moon. I need to spend more time in clean air of biodome, like Commander Leonid. Disgusting fumes for a mining site are Put yourself together, Leonid. Khrushchev always said, Proletariat are like dogs. They can smell fear, even if they you yet. This is not the law. It lost all control of Solaris. Dallas Cowpoke Cheerleaders? Dallas Cowpoke Cheerleaders? 
You're yanking with my chain. While we are being stuck in unisex moon base? Pistons! Hmm. But comrade, why we are not being allowed in the area northeast of here? Da, what are you having to hide? Because Milenkov thinks you're too drunk and stupid to go over there without getting lost, that's why. Drunk? Okay. But stupid? Why, that sofa! Ah, we can no longer be trusting Premier Milenkov. Oh, it ain't just Milenkov, kids. The Blisk think you're a bunch of morons, too. Bliskovics also? Uh, but they are always telling us Soviet Union will be ruling world. Dalian it. What evidence you are having to mistrust Bliskovics? Evidence? They're controlling your minds! I am thinking Comrade Cosmonaut Leonid is drinking too much Revelade. They've taken over your entire government! Comrade Leonid is perhaps watching too much American television. They're giant freaking lobsters from outer freaking space! Mm. We are seeing long-term psychological effects of space travel. Poor Leonid. They're taking away your vodka! Oh, this... this is being outraged. Anything else can be endured if we are having vodka. Ah, without vodka. Russia would have been democracy 200 years ago. This will not be standing. There is being no such thing as free lunch, Bliskovics. Yeah, give me vodka or give me death. Da! Yeah, so what does this mean for the Bliskovics? Bad news for the Bliskovics. That's the spirit! Now get out there, find the bliss, and kill them crabbies dead! For what go!
well? Okay, Pox. I've cut off the source of the Blisk's radiation. Demolished the Blisk Cosmonaut Alliance and basically provoked an all-out war around Solaris. I say, it's time we take this fight to the Krabbies themselves! I think you're right. Well, why in the hell do You do? I do. And I even have an ace up our sleeve to destroy the Blisk once and for- What the hell is that? Oh no! That's the launch sequence alert! The Blisk are launching their weapon! Well, maybe it's not so bad. Dream on! Those sadists are incapable of anything less than full-scale annihilation! Okay, keep your G-string on. There's gotta be a way to stop that launch. What? How did you know about my G-string? No, no, never mind! Once initiated, there's no way we can abort the launch. However, if we overload the laser guidance system, the weapon might veer off target. Laser guidance system? What laser guidance system? The dishes, Crypto! Overload the dishes! Do the dishes, protect the Earth, save the Furon DNA. Got it. Man. Whatever happened to destroying all humans? Let this be a lesson to you, Crypto. The best laid plans can be derailed by an unexpected case of the crabs! Now go! Crypto, that energy ball is blocking your way to the radar array. You'll have to find a way to shut it down. I expect you can think of something. Scientists must be losing minds using solar panels to charge radar's energy door? I mean, power from sun? Whose ludicrous idea was that being?
Cryptos Peridium, once again you showed unexpected pluck. You've stopped my weapon launching. Pity, really. We had such glorious renovation plans for that pathetic little planet. But no matter. <laughs> You've nearly staved off the inevitable. You can't fight progress, Huron. Get this through your monkey brain, villain cop. We own that planet, and there's not a damn thing that you or your rusky pals can do about it. Such bluster, such overconfidence, <laughs> yet still you can't see the big picture. I wonder, would you feel so arrogant if you knew the full scope of our fiendish master plan? Millie, I'm gonna probe you so hard, you're gonna be wearing diapers for a month. I already take a weekly high colonic, but thank you for the offer. On the other hand, I wonder, would you be so bold if you knew our devilish master plan? You two-bit tin horn petty tyrant, I fart bigger than you. You think just because you can keep a few depressed peasants in line, you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I'm the king of the world! The master of disaster! The baddest dude in the whole damn town! King Kong ain't got nothing on me! King Kong 
died, Cryptosporidium. I wonder, would you be so sure of yourself if you knew our fiendish master plan? Jeez, you guys just gotta have your monologues, don't you? Okay, I give. What's your damn master plan? Let me guess, you and the Blisk are gonna spread those spores and enslave humanity. Commies and Krabbies, a match made in heaven. <laughs> Small minds, no imagination. It's nothing so mundane. We don't give a damn about humanity, Cryptosporidium. But we want from Earth is the same thing you want. Survival. So the Krabbies want a new crib. What's wrong with Mars? Mars is a desert. An acid wasteland. You furon saw to that. But Earth. Earth is three-fifths water. All it lacks is massive radioactivity. To become a new Eden. A new radiated ocean paradise for Blisk! But what about the Russians? Your people can't live in that. <laughs> My people? <laughs> oh, you really are very bright, are you? Why do you think we've waged Cold War? Encourage the buildup of nuclear arms. Good God, what sane human would pursue such obvious suicide? 1908, Blisk warship crashes. 1917, October Revolution. Do the math! You, of all creatures, should know. Aliens walk among us. Da. You're not suggesting. Suggesting? I'm telling you. Lenin, Stalin, Khrushchev. Trotsky? Please, don't be ridiculous. It helped that Russian is so close to Bliskish. No coincidence, of course. The Furans aren't the only race who ever used Earth for... sure, Leon. Face it, Kratos Poridion. You Furans have been out scheme. The history of the Soviet Union is the history of Blisk on Earth. The loss of our sports is a blow, but in the end it makes no difference. Soon, Earth will be ours. No more humans, no more Furo DNA. And there's not a gun. Damn thing you can do about it. Lestromia Cryptosporidium.
Hey, Parks, uh, what's it like being one of the floating dead? It's quite peaceful, actually. Quiet, no noise or distractions. Certainly no violence, no wars or fighting of any kind. Frankly, it's boring the phlegm off me! I hate it! I want a new clone body! Ah! <laughs> I almost feel sorry for the poor guy. Almost. Now would be a good time to tell me about that ace up your sleeve you mentioned. Octodus loins I'd almost forgotten! Crypto, you're a genius! Using Pox Lab, I've created a new virus that will infect and kill the Blisk. Catchy. Let's hope so. I've arranged for it to be delivered to the moon by a new courier company. Oh, what's the name? The North American Shipping Association. Anyway, everyone calls them NASA. You wouldn't believe the cost of shipping to developing galaxies. I should mention, though, there have been some... Uh, complications. Okay, I'll buy. What kind of complications? The delivery men are refusing to land without clearance from their boss. A fellow called Houston. They're just hovering there waiting for orders. And let me guess, we're gonna give them those orders, right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm a regular rich little. Okay, let's get contagious. signal system. No one believes me, but I am convinced that by using multiple comm towers, we can communicate with spacecraft three times faster. It makes perfect sense. And they say Soviet science is revealed. Not enough comm towers are active, Crypto. The signal isn't strong enough to reach the lander. So I Good work, Crypto! All of the comm towers are now operational and sending the signal. Nothing will prevent that signal from being transmitted. Nothing! Do you hear me? Crypto! Those scientists are turning off the communication towers. If all of them aren't active, we won't be able to send a strong enough signal. Crack those eggheads and get those towers up and running.
using an anti-air... Uh, anti-space forces to eliminate the Moonlander! Too much damage and it'll crash to the surface in a fiery cataclysm! Cool, yes, but... Now get out there and whack those commies!
Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's it? What? One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind? Seven months and that's the best you could come up with? But you didn't like it? No, I didn't like it. It's crap. Where'd you find it? On a cereal box? I thought it sounded profound. Profound? You wouldn't know profound if it hit you over the head with a Camus novel. You think Merv Griffin's a deep thinker. Listen, mister, I'm getting a little tired of your lip. Oh, yeah, Commander Big Shot? What are you gonna do about it? Well, the plug on this mission, that's what. Sorry, Houston, but I can't work another second with this jackass. Get in the car. Get in the car. Oh, am I glad to see you. You won't believe it. The Bliss Scarf. Planning to kill humanity and turn Earth into an irradiated water world? I know. Oh, well, uh, uh, the good news is Pox has... Concocted a virus which will cause the Bliss to spontaneously combust? I know. Oh, how'd you know? I'm a spy. It's what I do. Okay, well... Uh, so, what are we gonna do? We're going to bring these Flolachi to their knees, that's what. I'll release the virus. You just keep those Krebbies off me while I do it. They're not touching a hair on your pretty little head, dollface. Trust me. They better not. I told you, I'm allergic to shellfish. But one way or another, Tavarish, this base is coming down hard. <sighs> I am so turned on right now. I gotta ask you that. How do you get into that suit? Shoehorns and Vaseline, baby. Rawr. If that's a pickup line, we're a match made in heaven. Hey, it's only the fate of our species, right? We can do this. I'm ready. Are you ready? Da, comrade. I'm ready. And spacemen? Good hunting. Rock and roll! Boy, honey! Hurry, Crypto. We haven't got much time, and we need to find a way through.
as cold as a thermometer. Okay. 
me down!
out if it's the last thing I do! Oh, anybody packs I can't get past the gas! And I don't mean your anal probe, although I admit that's an issue. See if you can find a way to turn off those jets! Crystal, you'll have to find a way to overload the gas generator! Radioactive rocks. This is all we need. Do me a favor and take care of those, Crypto. have to pretend. I know how you feel about humans. Well, not all. You'll have to 
Sheriff Joe, I've been ringing you for hours. What in the galaxy is going on out there? Sorry, Poxy. Uh, just working on a little science project. Wait, Clip Joe! You're finally showing an interest. I knew one day you'd make an excellent scientist if only you were properly motivated. What is it? Physics? Biology? Little of both. A little of... Wait a minute. I'm detecting residual heat from the cloning lab. Crypto! You did it! Listen, you little pustule! If anyone's getting a new clone around here, it had better be me! Who was that? Kriptushka. Telemarketer. Nothing to worry your sexy little head about. Whatever you say, my insatiable alien love czar. Wake me up when you're ready for re-entry. I made a few adjustments. <laughs> <laughs> 